So here we are in the bee yard. It's May 7th. We got a swarm already. Uh, we had uh, bees wintered really well last over the winter and then we had a lot of good weather in late March and early April so they got a lot of pollen, brooded up well and this yard happens to be a particularly strong one. It got, then it got cold so the bees are all confined and uh, all this brood hatching out. We had left the wraps on because it was cold too. So they're kind of confined and really congested in the hive. So I'm hoping that this is a one-off, but there's this, uh, we've got, well, two swarms at this yard. Uh, they always land in different spots. It's very unpredictable. That's part of the fun of catching swarms. You have to figure out a different way to do it in different circumstance. This one's really low to the ground. We can't shake the tree to get it off. So that's why I have a brush in my hand. We're gonna brush the bees off. Uh, first, we'll clear away anything that's in the, in the road, and uh, my preference is to uh, shake the bees on the ground in front of the hive that you're putting them into, so that we can then see if they have a queen. So the queen will kind of walk on top of the bees as they're running into the hive. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, we'll shake. This is a pretty small swarm, so we'll shake them into a nuke box, which will be easy for us to pick up later and, and take back home. Uh, our tradition at work is to have the new employees catch the swarms, the first swarm. And so we have Monique here, uh, ready to go. And I'll just talk her through this as we go along. So first, Monique, uh, take the smoker and we're just going to apply a little bit of smoke all the way around. These bees will have a lot of honey in their honey stomachs so, and they have no hive to... Okay, that's enough there. Uh, they have a lot of honey in their honey stomachs because they are going to be hanging out for a while. They're not really very uh, defensive in that situation. So you can stick your hand right in there, nice and warm. And you can see there's no uh, defensive response there. So we need to get a few things out of the way to uh, be able to catch them. We're going to brush them down onto a uh, uh, piece of, of, like a small tarp here. And then we'll take them over and shake them in front of the entrance of this nuke. So without disturbing the bees too much or making them fall, try and break away or cut away some of those branches. Should I shake them off? Yep, just to you know, get them right out of the way. Don't worry about a few bees, just throw them out of the way. That's good. I'm just going to nip that one off. And that one, grab it there. Oh. We're going to leave that one in place because if we break it, a whole bunch of bees will fall off. But you can get those ones out get from down below. Like these ones? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit big for that. There you go, and then that other one. We just want to make sure there's lots of space there. Put them out of the way. And well, we can give another little puff there. I'm going to get this rock out of the way. You don't want a, any uh, sharp bumps on the tree are going to and we'll leave that one there. They're going to cause them to fall, and we don't want that. We want them all to fall onto this tarp. You grab that end of the tarp, and we're just going to pull it up right up against the tree so we can try and catch all the bees. If we've got the queen, the rest of them will, will come over later. And so now what we're going to do is we'll just start at the top and we'll try and knock them off down there, like so. And just gently work away uh, getting those down. And I'll apply a little bit of smoke. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna be watching for the queen as you go. We clip our queen's wings uh, sometimes they don't get clipped quite enough and a queen can fly 
or sometimes they try to swarm with the clip queen with the clip wing and can't and then they go with a virgin uh, they, they swarm with a, uh, a virgin and so I'd kind of like to know what's happening here okay we're gonna I can just take that for a second like, this is a bit awkward because they're really stuck on there mm -hmm. so you can be a little bit more aggressive and just kind of peel them down like that Try turning now that you're down a little bit closer to the, the bark. Let's get our brush going this way. Okay. And just try and take all of them off as you're going down. You can see a lot of them are, tr are climbing back up again, and mm -hmm. they're all fanning. They're doing what's called nazanoving, and then they follow that pheromone screen. All right. There you go. And I'll smoke them a bit to try and discourage them from coming up. Not a very big swarm, but it's early, so it might do something. If they had gone with the clipped queen and she couldn't come with them, they would have been back to the hive already. We saw this swarm here yesterday, and they're still here today, so I believe they have a queen with them. They were confined for at least a week without much flight because it was so cold and so the first warm sunny day yesterday they, uh, they the swarm emerged from the hive okay that's good there now what we're going to do is just take that corner of the the tarp grab it there and we're, you can feel the weight there so grab yeah. the other corner and now we're going to open up you see we got frames in here all ready to go and then we'll open up the entrance uh, to the box which is right there and we're gonna just position it here very often we need to shake them on the ground but today we don't need to because they're already on the cart and then you can just set that box over the edge there. And we'll give them a smoke and try and get them running in that entrance. So smoke from this direction here. So they're trying to move away from that smoke. And uh, pretty soon they'll start running in, nazanoving, and then they'll all follow that stream. But uh, Monique, just have a look for the queen. Her abdomen will look a little bit different than the other ones, but when they are swarming, the queens stop laying eggs for a few days, so their abdomen shrinks. So they're barely bigger than a worker bee. They're a little bit hard to pick out. You don't always see them, but um, we, I like to take the opportunity to at least try and then I know whether it's got a virgin or a mated queen. So get that tarp up close. So uh, now we've got another swarm to catch that might be a little bit easier. We're just going to let those go in uh, and if, as I say, if we've got the queen, the, these other bees will come over afterwards. Okay, that's great. Thanks Monique.